Hey guys, it's your Ford Mustang here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to have your Roblox FPS Unlocker automatically start up for you every time you turn on your computer, as well as how to save your FPS cap if you have a specific FPS cap limit that you want to enable. Now, for those of you guys who are new to the Roblox FPS Unlocker, then I'll provide a link down in the description to the video on how to download the Roblox FPS Unlocker, you know, fix or update it. If you also had the Roblox FPS Unlocker before but wasn't sure on how everything works, then that video is also for you as well as a link in the description to the official website on where you download the Roblox FPS Unlocker version 4.4.0 from. And now I'm going to move on with this video, which includes stuff that I forgot to mention and include in my recent video on how you download the Roblox FPS Soundwalker version 4.4.0 fix, update it, or whatever you call it. If anyone is having any issues on having the Roblox FPS Soundwalker automatically start up for you on your PC, if you have to manually open your Roblox FPS Soundwalker, after every time you shut down or restart your computer, which is very annoying, and you're having issues saving the FPS cap limit that you want to establish on your Roblox FPS unlocker, then this video is for you. So anyways, without further ado, let's dive right into the video. So for those of you who already downloaded the new 4.4.0 version, the latest update from the official Roblox FPS Unlocker website. But after setting down or restarting your PC, you get a message from the Roblox FPS Unlocker and you notice how it's still saying 4.3.0 even though you already have the latest version downloaded and prompts you to download the 4.4.0 version regardless if you already have it. You do not need to download the same 4.4.0 version again. What you want to do is you want to go into your files and you want to go where you have the new Roblox FPS unlocker, the latest update that you have down your downloads file section. You want to click on that and you want to open it and then you want to move this around so you have room for another tab that you'll need to deal with over here. So what you want to do to open the other tab which is the startup folder for where you want to have your Roblox FPS unlocker at want to type in run to go into the run command center app and then you want to type in cell colon startup i repeat cell colon startup with no spaces all lowercase and then you just want to press ok and then it'll open to where you have your shortcut to the roblox fps unlocker and as you can see over here, the date that's modified is way too far outside of the new update. You can see that I originally downloaded this Roblox FPS Unlocker on July 7th, 2021. And to whenever you download it, of course the date is going to be different from you. It can be the same day or something different, it doesn't matter. But anyhow, you can definitely tell that the Roblox FPS Unlocker I have in there is the 4.3.0 version, not 4.4.0. So what you want to do is you want to delete the shortcut that you have 
from the 4.3.0 version. Just want to go ahead and click delete after right clicking on the Roblox FPS unlocker. And then it's to delete the shortcut. Now, what you want to do is go to the folder where you have the original download for the Roblox FPS unlocker on the latest update. I'm just going to quickly show you again where it is that's in your downloads for the original file just in case you weren't sure of where the Roblox FPS unlocker file is to the latest version. But anyhow, what you want to do next is on this tab where you have the original files of the Roblox FPS unlocker, you want to click on Extract All. And you'll just have the file set for you. Just press Extract. Don't mess with anything else. And then you can see that everything's extracting over here. And then it'll bring up this new tab to where you have the original file. Because you notice what I opened back there was a zip file. And you can see that file that I opened from yesterday has a zipper on it. But this one that was literally just created as I am recording this video does not have a zipper on it and it could show that all the contents are available now since everything has been extracted. So you just want to close out the tab to where you have the extracting from and now you want to go into this new tab that was created and you want to go ahead and drag the Roblox FPS unlocker onto your desktop. And then, what you want to do from there is you want to right click on the Roblox FPS unlocker and then you want to go hover your cursor down to where it says create shortcut. And what you see over here is that the Roblox FPS unlocker has created a shortcut. And you want to make sure to whatever you're doing that you're going to move the Roblox FPS unlocker where it says shortcut. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the folder where it says cell colon startup and you notice it has all words that are essential to starting up your program especially with the Roblox FPS unlocker while I'm recording this video. And you'll notice it has all these keywords to show you that you're in the correct place. You just want to drag your shortcut file down to where the folder that was created on the new tab after using the cell colon startup command in run. Just want to drag this the shortcut version of the Roblox FPS unlocker and just want to move over here and let go of where it says move to startup. You just want to let go of your mouse and then voila, you got the Roblox FPS unlocker shortcut in place. The Roblox FPS unlocker is being able to start up with the cell colon startup command, having the shortcut in that folder, goes hand on hand with the Roblox FPS caps that you can select. So I don't have the Roblox FPS unlocker shortcut in my startup folder right now. And as you can see, if I right click on the Roblox FPS unlocker and go to the FPS cap, let's just say I select 165 for example so just go ahead and watch that you know it selects 165 fps but if you restart your computer then that fps cap doesn't save i'm going to go ahead and show you guys an example and then i'm going to show you guys how to fix it so I'm going to go ahead and restart my PC to show that with the Roblox FPS unlocker not being 
in the shortcut how it impacts the ability to save the FPS cap. As you can see, the folder is empty. So I'm just going to show you guys the difference of not having the Roblox FPS unlocker shortcut version in your startup folder and having the actual shortcut version in your startup folder and see how much it makes a difference in saving your FPS cap. So right now, as I'm right clicking on the Roblox FPS unlocker, I'm going to go ahead and set my FPS cap to, uh, let's say 165 for example. I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer to show you the test of not having the Roblox FPS unlocker shortcut file in there. To show you an example of how the Roblox FPS cap does not save and then we'll move on to compare it when you do have the Roblox FPS unlocker shortcut file in the startup folder. Let's go ahead and restart my PC so I can show you guys an example of what I mean when it comes to saving the FPS cap on the Roblox FPS unlocker. Without further ado, it's time to restart my device. So I just restarted my computer and if you notice that if I right click and hover over the FPS cap, the FPS cap did not save. Instead of having it on 165, it went back to none. And that was because I did not have the Roblox FPS unlocker shortcut file in the startup folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the Roblox FPS unlocker shortcut file in the startup folder and then I'll show you guys how much it makes a difference with the FPS cap saving. By the way, if you don't see the icon for extracting the files, you can always go to downloads and from the Roblox FPS unlocker, the exact file that you downloaded for the new 4.4.0 version. You can always go ahead and right click on that original folder and then you can go ahead and hover your cursor down to where it says extract all. From there, everything is extracted when you press the extract button. And of course it creates a folder for itself where the Roblox FPS unlocker is located. And if you want the Roblox FPS unlocker shortcut file in there, just repeat the same steps as I showed you guys earlier in the video. So now I do have the shortcut file for the Roblox FPS unlocker in my startup folder and I'm going to go ahead and restart my device once again to show you guys the difference for the Roblox FPS unlocker in saving the cap rate. Just going to go ahead and set my FPS cap to 165 for the test. So as you can see I just restarted my PC again and if we go over to the Roblox FPS unlocker you can see that the FPS cap has saved on 165 thanks to the shortcut file from the Roblox FPS unlocker being in my startup folder. Now I just want to let you guys know if you accidentally press power and go to shut down instead of restart and let's say if you accidentally press shut down instead your FPS cap won't save and what you would need to do is you have to go back to where your Roblox FPS unlocker is to the FPS cap and just set it at the preferred number of cap you want it at and then you just want to go back to the power options and make sure you restart. Setting down your computer does not save the FPS cap 
with the Roblox FPS unlocker. You need to make sure you be started for the first time and then your FPS cap will save. Now after that, then your FPS cap will save every time regardless if you shut down your computer or not. But for the first time that you're applying your FPS cap on there, you need to make sure that you restart your computer and not shut it down. But then after that, you won't have to worry about it anymore. And your FPS cap will save every time you turn on your computer after setting off. Also, if you have the Roblox FPS unlocker and the settings lying around in your desktop background but you don't want them there and would rather have them over in the actual folder instead, what you want to do is drag both of those files to where you have the original folder with the extracted files that came out of it. In other words, from the folder that was created after extracting from the original file is where you want to drag the contents to. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just drag my official Roblox FPS unlocker there and drag the settings along with it and then boom don't see any of the Roblox FPS unlocker as settings lying around in your desktop background anymore. Now they're all available and secure in this folder where you have the Roblox FPS unlocker stored at. Anyways that's going to be it for the video right there. I hope this video helped you all a lot in terms of saving the Roblox FPS cap on your preferred number amount of cap that you want to save that as well as having the Roblox FPS unlocker start automatically for you whenever you turn on your PC without having to worry of opening it again and again every time you turn on your computer. Along with what to do when your Roblox FPS unlocker and settings with the content is hanging around in your desktop background and you would prefer to just keep them in your folder. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button. Comment your thoughts below about these fixes and what you think about my advice into solving these problems. Join my Discord server located in the description and you may subscribe. And once again, hopefully this video helped you out a lot. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.